Hey guys, this is Dr. Ezra with Integrative Kidney Solutions and this, uh, in this short video I'm going to be talking to you about why I do not like Bactrim or the use of Bactrim in kidney disease patients. Now, uh, Bactrim is one of those old antibiotics that is uh, well known and is still very effective and is actually quite useful in, in the rise of the MRSA epidemic. Uh, but beside the sulfa allergy that can limit its use, you should be careful about using it for your elderly patient and patient with kidney disease. Now, as you know, Bactrim is a combination of two antibiotics, sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. So sulfa, is, sulfa allergy is a big problem here. So why do I say that you should, you should not use Bactrim in kidney disease patient and patient who are um, elderly? Um, I'm sure you remember that uh, creatinine is not a perfect waste product uh, for the estimation of kidney function. And the reason why is because creatinine is not only filtered by the glomeruli, but also some of creatinine gets excreted by the tubules, which make it the not perfect way to measure estimation and estimate GFR. I'm also sure that you remember that there are a few medications that interfere with the tubular excretion of uh, creatinine um, and make, his, make the level of creatinine rise artificially. So these, as you remember, are H2 blocker like cimetidine, famotidine, and, and um, arenitidine, uh, but also include salicylate and drug called uh, pyrimethamine, um, and of course, as you guess, trimethoprim. But most importantly, trimethoprim acts like a potassium sparing diuretic, causing hyperkalemia um, and also increase the risk of volume depletion and acute kidney injury in these patients. These are um, usually reversible, but uh, often result in hospitalization for these patients. Finally, Bactrim is one of those medications that are known to cause allergic interstitial nephritis, leading to acute kidney injury. So in short, please think twice before you prescribe Bactrim to your patient with kidney disease. And if you must, please monitor them closely. Some precautions include hydration, continuing, uh, discontinuing the use of diuretics, ACE inhibitors or ARBs, or potassium sparing diuretics while uh, the patient is getting Bactrim. Also, if they're on any potassium supplement, please discontinue that. Check their potassium and creatinine level uh, very closely, maybe every other day. And don't forget that trimethoprim, as well as uh, potassium sparing diuretics, is also a folic acid antagonist and should be avoided in pregnancy. For more information, please subscribe to our channel, share this video. If you have any comment or if you want us to discuss any topic in the future, please uh, put it in the comments below and uh, visit our website at www.inkidney.com and sign up to our letter.